out. And hello, everybody. We are here with uh, our committee member, Domenico Guarna. And hello, Dom. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Sanya. Hello, everybody. So just um, a few questions. How did you uh, get involved with Gallery One? What are you doing here? And then tell us something about yourself, whatever you like, oh, something okay. funny. <laughs> oh, OK. Yes, well, I, um, I got involved in the gallery through joining um, uh, David Be Beaver's class. Beaver, yeah. Yes, he had a group. Um, well, I joined probably about 13 years ago, 14 years yeah. ago. And he was running um, some beginners groups and uh, I joined in. And I remember I rang him and I said, uh, David, I, I noticed you're running classes there and uh, I'm interested. I'm about it was a couple of years before retirement. Mm. And uh, another member of uh, the, 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 the gallery uh, lived around the corner, Clive. He lived just around the corner. He's always walked past my, my house. And uh, one morning, uh, I was running a little bit late and I had a, a late night before I was going to work mm -hmm. as a teacher at Hamilton. And I was in the garden and he says, how are you? Oh, I'm good. I had a bit of a late night. I didn't get much sleep. And he said, well, you got to do art. If you want to get to sleep, you've got to do art. I said, well, I can't mm -hmm. draw. And anyway, it was great because he came around and, uh, for a few months and he came and, and uh, gave me some uh, little pointers and, and lessons and things. And then I rang David Beaver and I said, look, I want to join your group, but I, I'm, you know, I want to know, make sure if I can at least, i got no talent, but uh, can I at least get a painting or something by the end of it? He said, oh, you'll get plenty of paintings, don't worry mm -hmm. about that. And I've um, never looked back. I uh, did many group work, uh, group uh, activities with, with David and other, and, uh, and other facilitators here. Mm -hmm. And now I'm uh, part of the, the life drawing group and the studio group. And, uh, and, and I'm you're on the part of the committee. And I'm on the committee. I've been on the committee for a few Quite years some now. Time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a wonderful, a wonderful place to, to be involved I in. I agree there. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got great people here. Sonia's fantastic. And I know, all but I other... didn't pay him to say that. <laughs> 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 and it's fantastic. I just love it. Love yeah. it here, part of the community. So it's beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. So tell us, before that, you were a teacher? I was a teacher. I, was, I used to teach at uh, Hamilton School. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'll tell you a story because this relates to my teaching. And it was in my first school, and it's one or two years into my first uh, teaching school, and I've actually got a cutting here. Oh, sure, of, uh, I'll put it. I'll put it up. As put well. it up later. Yeah. And it's. I, I remember one once that the, I got a, a message. One of my my staff mem uh, colleagues come up and says, uh, "Dom, you realise that you're plastered all over the student common room." And uh, there's a cuttings of you from the, the Sunday Mail. Mm. I says, what's going on there? I didn't, I haven't been in, uh, involved in that. And anyway, it was a uh, an article, a feature that the Sunday Mail wrote that that had the headline, "If you don't want a job, wear jeans," oh, wow. which of course is what I would wear. Uh, this is a, and they used a photo that they took while I was on at the at the university, and. Uh, they, they used a file photo and it's just me in denim jacket and denim jeans talking to a friend. <laughs> so in the end, I, you know, I was a bit upset because I thought, well, this is not going to look good, me being a role model. <laughs> and uh, I, got a, uh, I got a lawyer friend to, to write to the, to the news, mm -hmm. uh, advertising, said, nah, I want it back and, it, and I'm going to sue you for damages. And... Uh, <laughs> Cool. They, they wrote back and says, get nicked. <laughs> we'll give you back the original photo. And uh, and actually had the history. They used it two or three times before as well. Huh. So, yeah. And they said, no, no, don't worry about money, but you can have the photo back and we won't use it again. No apology or anything, but no, it didn't matter. Not. What year but, was that? Uh, that was probably around about 76, 70, 75, 76. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll put it in. A, yeah, in a that, that was that. So, yeah, so over the years I've taught at uh, Mitcham Girls, so it's all part of the community. What um, was your subject? I, I taught maths and chemistry mm -hmm. and science. Uh, 
Okay. And uh, also taught some photography at some stage and, and other other subjects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I loved it. I was a, yeah. I, I thought I was yeah. I, I enjoyed teaching and uh, it was a great great career. Mm -hmm. um, and the beautiful thing about being here in the gallery is that I'm part of the, the community. I've always lived in the community. I'm back in the community again. Mm. And so I keep run into people that I've worked with and yeah. students that I taught. And uh, it's yeah. just it, it's just a lovely, lovely place. Yeah. It goes like that. Yeah, yeah. And I have uh, received several times um, some wonderful produce from Dong. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a garden. I got you? a garden, yes. Yeah. I get a garden, yeah, yeah. And yeah. producing a lot of food now? Or? Oh, it, I do now because I've got a garden uh, down at uh, Normanville, and this is I spend a, quite a bit of time down there. And this mm -hmm. is this is me when I'm not at the you gallery. You have to lift it up. Uh, this is ah, yeah. This we is me see down now. at the at, at <laughs> the uh, down at the beach at Normanville, and. Uh, so yes, I, I go down and I run a garden there and I've got a few things growing yeah. in town as well. And they're fantastic. I've got some yeah. basilico, basilico and yes. tomato. So there'll be more tomatoes this year, yeah, so maybe. Fantastic. So we'll, we'll see how we go. Yeah? It's, it's a good... It's, how it's many good... kids do you have? I've got three children. There we go. This is a, They're my three babies. That's oh, when wow. they were babies. I've got two girls and a boy. Uh-huh. And... This is, that's me with my two girls oh, lovely. At, a, at my Italian community club that I'm involved in. Oh, and, so you're, uh, you're involved in an uh, Italian community? Yeah, well? I, I started a club uh, many years ago. Uh, the, the, the local members, the local community uh, had came to me and said, we want to start our, mm -hmm. our own community club. Yeah, I'll, I'll be in it. It was. It's all based on our town. We had quite a, a size, a good large people coming from this town in Calabria called okay. Arena. Arena. Uh, okay. Yeah, a beautiful town. But it, uh, and they said we want to form a community, uh, a community comes to get together. So I said fine. So I, I became part of the the, the, the original mm. group, secretary for a number of years. I was president for the last 15 or so years, but I've just moved on, I had other things to do. Thank you, actually, for everything that you do. Oh, it's my it pleasure. Is, it is really, really appreciated. Yeah, yeah. We have <laughs> and, and another funny story is that so when I first came here, this oh, is... Oh, look at that. This is a family portrait that my father took us oh, to, wow. to have, and this is when we first arrived. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be, it would be months after we come, because here I am in my little velvet little velvet <laughs> suit that uh, this is me here yeah and uh, yeah and so when I went to school I, I, I had a cousin that lived with us yeah a, a teenager late teens or early 20s and he taught me some words of course and uh, not English. the good word in English yeah. not the good words <laughs> so when I went to school I was out in in the first almost the first week or two that I went first day uh -huh. uh, at Gillis Street primary the teacher asked me, you know, something, and uh, I didn't know what she was talking about. And of course, I just replied in the in the words that my cousin told me, which was "shut up, shut up." <laughs> and of course, that didn't go down too well. And <laughs> she got me over the knee and started to. Uh, that this is back. This is 1954. Yeah. Okay. Or 55, yeah. So, you got so I got smacked and smacked and I was screaming and screaming. <laughs> and it was only uh, because the headmistress had offers down uh, a couple of doors down. She came in to see what the commotion was about and saved me because I think I would have ended up black and blue because I kept, all I kept repeating was, it's all I knew, shut up, shut, shut up, up, shut up. Oh, my God. <laughs> so now I spend my time divided between... Uh, Adelaide and uh, Normanville, mm -hmm. and uh, pre-COVID it would be uh, visiting my son in uh, America, in San Francisco, where I was last year, mm -hmm. and my daughter and grandson, who, uh, grandson is the apple of my eye, uh, is uh, little, little Frederick, mm -hmm. Frederick Rocco, and oh, that's, that's the uh, boy. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen him for uh, a long time, so... You want yeah, to see him soon. I want to see him very soon, yeah. Okay. And you will, I mm. think. That's then. 
interview for today. All right. Thank okay. you so very much. Thank you. My pleasure to be part of this group. Mm.